Hello, my name is Dean Howe. I work for Leica Geosystems as a technical sales representative and dealer manager for Transit and Level Clinic Incorporated. Today we're going over updating Captivate firmware in a CS20 controller. First, let's open our CS20 and check our customer care package or CCP date. You do that by going to Settings, About Leica Captivate, and to the Leica Captivate tab. In here, you'll see a CCP end date. That day will be a month, date, and year, and it's important because as long as the date is after the firmware publishing date, you are fine. If not, you will need to renew your CCP. To renew a CCP, contact a Leica dealer or a direct to purchase a renewal. Remember, if to renew one product, you must renew all products that might co-mingle with this one. The website we use to download the firmware is myworld.leica-geosystems.com. If you already have a login, you put in your information to get into the site. If not, you have to register for MyWorld. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Once you log in to the beginning screen, you want to go to My Applications and My Products. As you see, I've already loaded some of my products in here. If you need to add the product you're using, you would hit Add Product and put in the information, which is a serial number, an article number, or just the equipment number. Once your product is in there, you just tap on it, it loads, and you can see all the information such as installed firmware and other applications that may be done. But if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see your basic CCP contract and when the end date is there. If you scroll back up to the top and hit download keys, that will produce a key code file you put in your system folder of your SD card so that you can load your key code in to unlock your CCP. While we're in our My Products page, there's another uh, tab at the top called Software. If you depress Software, it'll go into the next menu where we can actually get our firmware to load. In our Software tab, if we scroll down, we will see the release number. We have older versions as well in here that we can load. We have our release notes that tells us all of our enhancements and bug fixes that have been done. And then right below that, you'll see our Leica firmware for the CS20. When you hit the download tab, a screen will appear. It really doesn't mean a whole lot, but the main thing is it comes up to the download screen where you can download your SD system folder the firmware version and you hit save from there. This file is quite large and will take some time to download. But after download, place your SD card in your CS20 and we'll start the process. First, we will update your CCP end date with the key codes we downloaded. Go to settings, go to tools, go to load license keys, it will auto-populate the key code in your SD card, so when you hit OK, you'll be a short download. Now let's load the firmware. We go to Settings, go to Tools, and Update Software. Again, it will auto-populate the SD card and the file you downloaded. Below there, there's a check mark to agree to the legal agreement. The OK comes up, and you hit OK to begin the download. The update will start. This install will take some time, approximately 10 minutes. When it finishes, the software will reboot, and after reboot, you can check your firmware version by going to Settings, About Leica Captivate, again to the Leica Captivate tab, and see your version as of right here. And you're finished.